Hey, Chris Jupe here, and today I wanted to tell you about something that's been on my mind lately, something that I think a lot of Christians get wrong, and that is that Christians are tricked into believing that money is a bad thing, that wealth is a bad thing, that riches are a bad thing. A lot of Christians have negative ideas about money, and I think that's very unfortunate. Um, you know, if you, if you look into the Bible there, uh, over and over again, God says that money is good. Proverbs 10, 18, I'm sorry, 10, 22 says, The blessing of the Lord maketh rich. Do you think God would bless his children with something that's bad? Of course not. Money is good. Psalm 37, 4 says, Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. 2 Corinthians 9, 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound to you, so that always having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed. See, God wants you to have abundance because with abundance, with money, with the influence and the power and the ability to do things that money gives you, you can do a lot of good deeds and you can do your good deeds on a much greater scale. So think about for a moment, think about if you made $1 million this year, what would your world look like? How many people would you be able to bless? How would you be able to bless your family? How many hungry people would you be able to feed? How many homeless people would you be able to put a roof over their heads? How many lost people would you be able to share the gospel with? How much better would the world look because you made a million dollars? Now, now think about what, what, how much better would the world look if every Christian made a million dollars? There are over two billion Christians in the world. What if all of those people made a million dollars. How much better would this world look? I'm willing to bet this world would be so much better it would be completely unrecognizable a year or two from now. There, the homelessness, hunger would be gone. Everybody would hear about the word of God. The, the, the world would be a completely different place if Christians just cast off the negative programming they have about money and, and uh, accepted the God-given blessings that are their birthright. Now. Um, a lot of people say this is unrealistic, which this comes from a false belief. People believe that wealth is a zero-sum game, but wealth is not a zero-sum game. What I mean by a zero-sum game is that, that in order to get money, you have to take it from somebody else. This is a, a horrible lie that a lot of people believe, and it's not true. In fact, the Bible says it's not true. Deuteronomy 8.18 says, But remember the Lord your God. For it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. Notice he says produce, produce wealth. He doesn't say it is he who gives you the ability to take wealth away from somebody else. No, it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. You can produce wealth. Now, God created us in his image. God, our creator, created us in his image. And that means a lot of things. But one thing that stands out to me particularly is that it means that God created us to be creators ourselves. That God created us in his image so that we can create things as well. And this is, this is clearly true if you look throughout history at all the incredible inventions and the, uh, in the, the cathedrals and castles and, and works of art and beautiful pieces of music that humans have created. We are very good creators because we are endowed with this ability by our creator, right? So God created us to be creators and because of that, we can create value, and from value comes wealth. So we create value, and we create wealth as our God-given ability as creators. Think about this in a more practical sense. What if you, what if you invent something? It doesn't matter what it is, just something, that uh, you sell it to somebody for $100. Well, in order for anybody to buy anything, that person must value the thing more than they value the money. So this person values the thing that you're selling more than the $100. So let's say this person values the thing at $200 and buys it for $100. Well, in making that transaction, the person has given up something worth $100 and gained something worth $200. So he has gained a value of $100. He is $100 richer in value than he was before. So you producing this thing has made the world $100 richer. Now, let's, let's modify the example a little bit. Let's say instead of you're the inventor of the thing, let's say you're the person who's selling it, that somebody else invented it, but you're the salesman. So let's say it's the same thing, it still costs $100. The customer comes along, it's worth $200 to him. He gets $100 in additional value. Now, remember how I said that nobody's willing to buy anything unless the, the money is worth more, I'm sorry, the thing is worth more than the money. 
Well, the flip side of that is that nobody is willing to sell anything unless the money is worth more than the thing. So let's say the produ producer of this thing uh, values it at $50. Say it take $50 in cost of goods sold to create this thing, right? He sells it for $100, so he gets an additional $50 of added value. This, again, is value that didn't exist before. And since you're the salesman, let's say he splits that, that uh, additional $50 with you and gives you a $25 commission. So in making this sale and doing this transaction, here's what you've done. You've created $100 of extra value for the, uh, for the, the buyer. You've created $25 in additional value for the producer, and you've created $25 in additional value for yourself. This is a total of $150 in added value that did not exist before. You have created this value out of thin air. Now the world overall is $150 richer than it was before because you made this sale. Now think about if you make a lot of these sales, let's say you sell 10,000 of these products. If the same thing is true every time, you're making $150 extra value times 10,000. That's $1.5 million in value that you have created in the world that by selling, just by selling this thing, you have made the world $1.5 million richer. That is money that you have, that is wealth that you have produced. As the scripture says, it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. You have produced all of this wealth in the money, in the marketplace. That is your God-given power to do good. But unfortunately, so many Christians have been tricked to believe that money is bad. The devil tricks Christians to believe that money is bad because the devil does not want us to have that incredible power that God has made available to us to make the world a better place. The devil doesn't want to have that, so he tricks us into believing that money is bad. Now, if you're ready to rid yourself of this negative programming, or at the very least, you're a little intrigued and you want to learn more about what money is from a Christian perspective, I highly recommend you check out my Wealth Mastery Secrets presentation this Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or that's uh, 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time. This is a free hour-long presentation. It's created by my mentor, uh, Myron Golden, who's a Christian businessman who's made hundreds of millions of dollars, wealth expert. Um, it's it's jam-packed with information about how to make money using biblical principles and why God wants you to make money. This presentation is completely free. Click the link below to sign up. Don't ignore this. Watch this free presentation and claim the blessings the Lord has for you and for your family and the whole world around you. Click the link below to sign up. God bless.